episode episode 81 this is dvth we are here today in the building wherever it be morning wherever it be evening wherever you are as casey says this is dvth you can see this lukewarm voice is because we're all bloody tired in this place <laughs> no, we ain't tired we got energy yeah let's claim that energy yeah. good morning guys good evening good afternoon whatever time you're listening you've done already welcome to dbth another episode episode 81 81 we are back mm-hmm. at it again thank you for subbing on the intro 81 I needed that it should get our casey aka case boogie in the motherfucking cut what it is and yes it's mr good afternoon good morning and good night so that's the pickup <laughs> line from now on <laughs> hello <laughs> Mr. Tariba, Shamiti, if you are damn well nasty. That directs you tiny head. Yep. And it's Please. Mr. MBT, the one and only. What, yay? I, I'm just I saying. was waiting for it. I was like. And he was saying. Like, like, the, the, the guest pastor was waiting for his name. He's like, you know what I'm saying? I was like. <laughs> and I was just looking at me. He said, like, what's going on? <laughs> what's I name? said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, good night. Oh, God. Have me waiting there. I was even like, <laughs> like trying to open one eye. So I'm close. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, good night. Sorry. Ladies, good morning. Stage I've said, see, that's, my, that's my pickup line from now that's on. That's JT's pickup line. Good afternoon, good morning, good night. <laughs> this doesn't even make sense. Yo, let's move on. Sweet. Guys, <laughs> guys, please. <laughs> please. All right, we're here. It's episode 81. Before we get into mm. tables trainers, we want to shout out some supporters. We went to the Black Girls Living um, live show on Sunday, which we'll get Indeed. into a little bit later. Shout out them, man. Killed it. Okay, Killed but it. we'll get into it later. We'll get into it later. But when we were there, we met a couple of our listeners. So a big shout out to Ife yes. and Books, Caffeine and Podcasts. Yes. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, um, yeah. her beautiful friend. We met them on Sunday, a lot of love showing, man. This yeah, is what it's man. about. So time, it's time. really, really it nice is. to um see and finally meet some of you lovely listeners in real life. So we appreciate you, man. Yeah, we appreciate mm-hmm. y'all. Big up y'all. All right, much love, cool. Much love. Time to get into. You already know what it is, guys. Actually, before I even get into tables trainers, road to five hundred, mm-hmm. still alive and well. All right, guys, follow us on the gram DBTH podcast. You will be able. Mm-hmm. to win something from us yes. once we hit 500 followers we're almost there so yeah. i don't want to keep saying this come christmas okay <laughs> yeah i don't want to please that. i don't even i'm don't annoying myself as i'm saying it please guys it. follow us on the gram dbth podcast now it's time to get into if you have a favorite you know you love it it is tables trainers trainers tables brilliant Mm-mm. okay Mm-mm. right you can already see by the title what type of day it's about to be today. Yeah, man. Yep, 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 but yep, yep. judging by the theme, you already know it's a yeezer day. Okay, it's a yeezer yeah. yeah. day. Okay. Now, do you know what? We've got a real variety going on here. Yeah, Yeezy's yeah. made something of a legacy for himself, if I do say so myself. Mm, mm, um, let's get started. To the right of us, we have, this is the Yeezy foam runner in, mm. um, I don't know what colorway this is, sand? Yeah, original. Original. All right, then we'll go <laughs> Original. Um, this was a pair that was purchased through resale. Big up eBay for the authenticity. Guarantee. Guaranteed. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a pair. We spoke about it last week. This is one of those pairs. It's Marmite in it. You like it or you mm. hate it? I think most people like it now. A lot of yeah, haters in like the beginning. Of the no. No, yeah, that's a lot what I was about to say. It's hype. Because of the clout. Yeah. Yeah. If the cloud yeah. wasn't there, would you be wearing that? It's a I loved it from the beginning. That's not even do that with me. You can't do that with me. Nah, no, I'm not, you know I, I shouldn't have aimed at you. I'm talking about all you out there. Yeah, that's their that one. That Would you really wear it if there was no clout? Mm. That's their so. Would you wear it if that was something that got brought out by? Let me. I was gonna take it Crocs. far and say I was. So I was gonna say like, um, like Walmart or some shit. No. Yeah, no. but but if it was like if it was H and M. Hmm. I actually buy quite a lot of stuff from H&M, actually. You don't no, buy shoes you, you, H&M. you haven't answered the question. Good. You don't buy if Zara H&M. released that, would you Zara, buy it? Zara, Zara's a good example. Tell you what's mad. Answer the question. No, no, no. Let me explain. Answer the Let question. No, no, no. Do your yes or no and then explain. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, look, we ain't going to act like the brand doesn't make a difference, okay? And it's not, I didn't buy the shoe wholly for the brand and the Yeezy brand. I genuinely like the look of the shoe. So why did you not buy it from Zara? Because Zara never brought it out. But if Zara brought it out first and Yeezy didn't bring it out. We can't live on ifs. We live on real lives. No ifs, did I ask you to live ladies. or did I ask a question? We don't live on ifs and buts. We live on Everyone's real life. Scientists do. Say, man. That's their own business. <laughs> Scientology on that nonsense. Okay, let's move on. Now we're insulting beliefs. Okay, great. Let's move on. To the left of me, we have the other classic. You know it, you love it. It's the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner, y'all. 
Um, the best banging. trainer Connie has created. The best Yeezy that's ever existed yes, in life. The best. Period. It's not nah, for debate. The best. The best. That's how I feel. This is the type of trainer that people buy five or six pairs of. Yes, I hear it. I would double up. If, if it wasn't 250, I would double up. Funny so, enough, so I was watching um, what's his name? Trunks on um, Kick Game. Yeah, Shout out yeah, Trunks. And Shout he Trunks. was like, I have like five pairs of those. He I hear it. Six. Fresh. Hmm? He said six. Really? Yeah. Yeah, fresh. fresh. That is, mm. that's glutton. That, that doesn't make sense to me. But two. No, no, because one, when one gets, f- it's like Air Forces. Do you, you know, know how long it takes to get foot to this? Uh, it's, it's true. true. It does take a long time. It true. takes but, a really long time. But I really that's right, like, that, that one is even foot. Well. And how many years have you had it for? Uh, two. Exactly. But they've only restocked it like three times, haven't they? It hasn't no, been, no, no, about four. Was it no, four? it's been a couple of times. Yeah. Has it? But for the simple fact that you bought it. these two, <laughs> but the simple fact you bought these two years ago, yeah, mm. this is easily cleanable. You just haven't. Yeah, cleaned yeah, yeah, yeah. It. So I don't actually see anything wrong with this pair. Yeah, I see something wrong with it. I, I, guess, I mean, I, come on, I man. guess Wear I, and no, tear. Yeah, I feel like you can love it that much to have, at least have six pairs. I can't lie. I feel like it is a just like Air Forces. Not like it's Air not Forces. the same. Not the same. I feel like it's this. Me and you are not the same. This is just one of those ones where you get it and you just want to stock it. Like you don't want you don't want to have to go outside and buy anymore. I hear that. Just stock them. That's fair. That's fair. Classic, classic pair. I hear it. What do you think? If you don't think that's the greatest, what do you think is the best pair? Silhouette or just in terms pair. of actual the best pair? trainer from oh. Kanye? Mm-hmm. Adidas. For you take it another way, I know you. <laughs> is uh, let me get the name right. Good I one. think it's his fir- the first pair that came out. The three fifties. No, no, no. The high top one, the grey one. Oh, that boot. I love that boot. Oh man. I can't remember the name. Let me let me look for it. I'm, I I'll, know which one it's. I'm tempted to say the seven fifty, but it, I don't think it's seven fifty. It's Claire, me and I, I think it might be seven fifty. It's Claire, it. me and Casey do not agree with you. That's your own. That's it. Business, yeah, seven fifty. Yeah. I think that's the, I think that's the best one. Personally. Um. You think that is Absolutely the best lovely. one? Absolutely. Fair enough. It. Why did you not get it? Because it was impossible to get. Okay. That's um, it. End of fair the story. enough. There you go. End of the cinema. Yeah. Um, okay. And finally, which brings us to the pedestal today, Let's we go. have the Yeezy 700 V3. No yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? No tit No, nah, it doesn't nah, deserve that, it, man. That it shoe is slumped. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. like wow. it. Wow. That shoe looks like something from Alien and Predator. Yo, I do shoe, not yeah. like this shoe. This shoe is one that you guys are going to continue hating about. Mm. That's your own business. Because it's a beautiful shoe. I'm not mad at the trainer like I used to be. Look at it. Look at the way the laces don't even sit properly. But do you know what? I like the yellow pair. You know the one that Princess yeah, has? Yeah, that one I think cold. is absolutely beautiful. still have beautiful. them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're banging. Cold. And they're I cold. I wouldn't mind buying those for myself. But this pair, I think when it's all black, that's the thing. Of, oh, dear. That's the thing about See, all black trainers. Don't know how to handle <laughs> itself. Oh, dear. That's the thing. Let me go back to this. Shit, that's shit. the thing about all black yes. trainers, yeah. Mm-hmm. It kind of takes away from the silhouette. Like, sometimes you lose the dimension that you can get in I other colours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what I don't like about this. But I mean, more life. I, heard. I think that brings us to the end. Uh, <laughs> that brings us to the end of Tables Trainers. Trainers Tables. Watch out! Brilliant. On to the news, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, as you know, every single week, we bring you the latest news on what's going on within the sneaker industry, the fashion industry, and what's going on within the culture. And with a little bit of music. Come on. So, the first thing on the list is Benja. After... 10 years mm. of Benja Graf- being alive. No, no, they grafted. Graf- they are grind. now in Harvey Nichols. Yeah, shout out to them. What do you guys think about that? Didn't they have pop-up shops in Harvey Nichols? Who? Benja? Benja? Never. Or was it Trapstar? Probably Trapstar. I, wouldn't, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. But I, I, I could see Trapstar being in Harvey Nichols. But I think it was, okay, maybe it was Trapstar. Not Benja. I thought Benja, Benja pop-up shops. have all, only been online. Oh, wow. And in their um, warehouse, wherever that may be. Yeah, they've had a couple of like collabs and jobs and stuff, but nothing like this. So this is this is big. So they've actually got a space now in Harvey Nichols. Yeah, mad. That's the word on the curve. Benjo. Congratulations to Benja. Nah. Do you know yeah. what? They are actually the proof of determination. Yeah, yeah. perseverance. They, perseverance is the word I want. Actually, thank you, because they really truly have been. Oh, they've been out here grafting. Mm, they've been out here grafting. But um, I love it. I love it. Like the original. I there was a point where. The original stuff that they were doing was amazing. I loved it. It was new, it was fresh, and it was really it was flying the flying the UK flag. Yeah, the yeah. Time. Then they just died out for me. I'm not sure. I think the designers were just getting tired. But then they revamped it and they made it more of a luxury British brand, which I actually started to love. They made it a luxury streetwear brand. And some mm. of the stuff that Ben Jart's bringing out now, I'm actually looking at it like they brought out a jacket that's similar to you. Remember that season of where people went that over overly printed Gucci puffer jacket, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Ben Jart brought out their own version of that. Okay. And when I can say that if you put them together, yeah, I can understand 
where people can say, I will choose the Benjot one. Would you buy it? One. So. I would buy it. Okay, all right. I would. Yeah, Benjot's not really my style. It's never, been, it's never ever no? been my bag. No. But... Um, yeah, more light to them. Yeah. I don't, I don't, for me personally, it's not necessarily whether I like it or not, but just like if the Dude. brand is doing what they're doing yeah. and th- people love them because I see them wearing them all the yeah, time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Benjar is not my bag, but I'm happy that they're getting they're a bag. Innit? More light to them, innit? Yeah. Yep. Next thing on the list is Black Girls Living. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Black yeah. Girls Living. Our fellow podcasters. Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah. Shout out to Vic and Jazz, boy. Yeah, they yeah. absolutely shut it down. Killed it. Sold out show. Sold out show. Sold First out show. dates. Okay. First, First show date. Well. Show showed out. So you guys should allow me to out. continue with the news now. You're on we're doing the news. What was it? Black girls. We're, we're represent. I was gonna say that they had their show on Sunday. That's Weezy. <laughs> we enjoyed that show. We continue did. Yes. Big shout out to Victoria and Jazz. They absolutely, absolutely, absolutely killed it. And mm. you know what? What I love as well about Black Girls Living, the, obviously the podcast is amazing, fine. Yeah. But the podcast brings about an audience where everybody is just good vibes. Yes. Yeah. Everybody in that room yeah. was good vibes, yeah. good energy. They were confident. They felt safe. Yeah. They were able to go up on stage and yep. do banter with them. Like it was like it was like being in a group of like friends. Like, no, it, felt yeah, like for sure. it was a very sure. friendly it, environment. It, yeah. it definitely Definitely looked like a very, very like safe environment just by yeah. the way everyone was acting, everyone was so free. Yeah. yeah. Like uh just to see a bunch of black people in a room like that, yeah, and just having a laugh and just enjoying yeah. themselves. It's not something you get to see that much, especially in a place like Cargo in Shoreditch. It's like you most places in Shoreditch don't allow black people to come in there yep. like number mm. one. So to see them shut down a live show like that, like that was yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. was one thing I was scared of, obviously, because me and Michael were there and a few other guys were there, and obviously it's black girls living. I didn't wanna you know, intrude, Imposed. intrude, mm. or I didn't want it to be a situation where people didn't feel like they can be free. Not saying that there should be a reason why you shouldn't, but I didn't. I felt like baby guys being there would have taken away from the situation. But yeah, yeah, everyone got involved. We got involved. Like it was amazing. There were some guys that came up on the stage. It was, <laughs> it was, the, it was a, incredible to see. Really, yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It, it was, was really, really good. I'm, I'm proper happy about it, man. Mm. It was really, really nice. Very, very friendly. Love Next that. thing on the list. Just before you say that, yeah, if you ever wanted to know, you see when people always make jokes of like how um, girls' toilets are in the club and mm. how super friendly they are. That is what. Oh, so that event was like that is what it's like. Really, everyone's right. mad friendly. Like that's just in what it's like toilets. in the toilets. That's what it's you don't like. want to come to the guys' toilet. It smells of shit. It does, okay, man. let's. It smells of urine. Deucing. Urine. Yeah, man. Deucing in the club. One hundred percent. Anyway, I, do you <laughs> know what? Funny enough, yeah. Do uh, funny enough, I went into the men's toilet. Yeah, yeah. I can't go. Yeah, oh, yeah I went yeah. to men's toilet. I can't go. And obviously, I'm in the toilet using the toilet. Yeah. And I look up here. You know the black thing that was at the top there? Did you go to the toilet? I did, but I didn't look up. Oh, fam. I was like, jing, 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 jing. <laughs> <laughs> the man is down! What was it? Like mold and all that. I was like, yeah! I was like, sort that out. I'm not going to lie. My eyes are like this. I was like, yeah! No, and I'm like, and and obviously you know in the shortage they always have those guys that are in the toilet that obviously give you decisions. Yeah, yeah. I was like, and you are in here. You get the fuck out of here. A man gets the punani, that kind of stuff, guys. That's that's the kind of stuff they say. What? Have the man get the punani. There you go. Uh, Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, next (laughs) one on the list is, as we know, Pata released their first version of the Air Max One. It's not, their first. it's not their first. It was re-released. It's a re-release. It isn't re-released because the first one. It's not one, a re-release. The first it one wasn't the, first the same. One, the first one didn't look like that. They brought out that same shoe before. No, the first. The first like one. That. The first uh-huh. one had this. No one because it isn't. The, there, it it's isn't the one even, from 09 and it, yeah. it didn't have the it had waves. the same colorway, but it didn't have the waves. So that's what I'm saying. The first version. And no, I'm pretty no. sure. No, okay. Wave wait, anyway, after wave. Wave after wave. Mm. Okay, so they released. Slowly. Yeah, I am. Anyway, so they released the Air Max Air Max One last week because you know what, yeah. Sometimes you can call the Air Max One. The, I used to call the Air Max One the Air Max Ninety One or something like that. Why did you do that? No, because I swear that was the name as well. Check, check on Google. Air Max Ninety One. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Google it. I, I swear. No, I swear. No, no. Well, Ch- type in Air Max Ninety One. Googling it right now, my guy. <laughs> I'm just getting here. Give me a second. Listen, they wouldn't have called it 91 nope. because it came out in 1987. So. Oh, I don't know. I used to call it Air Max Ninety One for some reason. That was the anyway. mystic. Ah, uh, well, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, so. They released um, an Air Max last um, last week, yes. which was an orange, orange colorway. Mm. All right. And they're about to release another two colorways. Mm. Nike doing their damage once a flip again. No, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm actually not mad at it. No, I'm mad. Not I'm mad pissed it. off. I'm annoyed. Okay. 
They should have bought that shoe, shelved it. Keep moving. I'm not mad. At, I'm not mad at the blue pair, but I don't know what the burgundy pair is doing. It's just not necessary because when you say you're not mad at the blue pair, the burgundy pair, that's when they're gonna bring out gold. They're gonna bring <laughs> <laughs> just do what they did to Sakai. Uh, <laughs> we'll I hear it. And it's just gonna go on and on and on until they got ten thousand pairs before February next year. I hear it. I hear it. But I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not mad at. It. I'm not mad at the first two, which is the orange and the blue. Orange when we get to burgundy, I like the orange one. Yeah, even fact it. I do like the orange yeah, one. Yeah, I really like the orange one. I don't really care for... You know I don't like... I don't like... Yeah. Shoes, I'm, but, um... Yeah, I'm here for the orange. That burgundy shit. one is crazy. What? What's going on? I've just seen latest thing on the news right now. I've seen Tupac. Tupac's photos going for 99. Hey, man! What Sorry, the man. fuck? All right, let's get into yeah, it then, wait. seeing as Damn. you've moved on. Wait, wait, wait. Well, it's on my news, so news. I might as well speak the news. Yeah, but wait till we get there. Dad. Tupac? Yeah, are, are, we there? are we there yet? Are we get there? I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. Are we there yet? Yeah, we are, because we finished with the patas. Did you we? <laughs> Yo, you better clean sure. your pata. You know what I mean? Oh, my pata always clean. Oh, ah, dirty, dirty. Nah, they're clean, clean. Dirty, dirty. Hello, can we? Skitty, skitty. No, that's you, you. <laughs> you, 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 you. <laughs> so, <laughs> next thing on the list <laughs> is two packs picture is going for 999 Ethereum coins. Now, I do not know much about this, so I'm assuming Casey's the one that's going to talk about Has this. Is it sold? Yes, I'm very happy to talk did to you about did that. It, is it sold? Um, I don't know. That's so, a great picture, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, two packs photographer. The one that he was saying was a great picture was this one. But two packs right. photographer. Uh, he wasn't just two packs photographer. He was an amazing photographer back in the day. God rest his soul. Chimodu. Um, he has Nigerian. Um, yeah, Nigerian. Ibo. And, and he's passed Ibo. away. Yeah, he recently passed. Oh, um, no. oh the photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you shit. think of, listen, all of the classic pictures that you can think of, photos taken back in the day. You know that one with um, Biggie where he's got the. Coogie. Yes, the yeah. Coogie jumper. Um, that one was taken by him. Wow. The wow. one where Tupac is in the bathtub with the gold on him, that yeah. was him. Ah, so all these that. legendary pictures, that was all him. Anyway, Shout. the picture of him, it is this one. This picture. That picture is stunning. It's um on sale for 999. Who what is it? 999 ETH. Ethereum. Just yes. But wait, who is selling it? I hope um, it's his family member. Probably his estate. His estate. estate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think apparently, word on, it's, it's hard to say. Word on the curb. Word, I was going to say word on the curb. Word on the curb is that um, he, this is something that he wanted to do before he passed because oh, wow. they were saying that he was ahead of his time and he thought ahead of, of this. Okay, here we go. So it's currently owned by, yeah, it's been sold for 999. Wow. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So Which is the equivalent to, to 3.775 million. Wow. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. monies. You better wee, sell wee, those. Wee, no, wee. I actually don't sell those. That's money. No, keep those for real. That's it. I'm still, yet, I'm still yet to understand what that person will do with that now. No, because obviously na- that picture is is it's ba- one is, one is, one is an NFT it's in it. It's one, it's no, one no, of one. I know, I know it's one of one, but it's just like. It's like you owning an art piece. I, I get it. I get it. I still, I still haven't gotten over the fact of, look, having to own something virtually as opposed mm. to seeing it in person. I, I still stand by the idea of having to see art in person and enjoying yeah. it in person as opposed to online it doesn't make sense to me but for those that do- does make sense to you then shout out to you i think it's because of the way the world is moving right now everything's more digitalized now that's so fair. people are no. looking at digital estates that's no, what that, looking at. i heard that i heard that i heard that and I, it, it is very scary to and to know that it could get to a point where we are all just sitting down with vr headsets forbid, enjoying our me, estate not online me. but that's what it's looking like me. Do you you know, do you're creating a virtual estate then what you're building your house putting up your painting in your house with all your eth eth paintings i don't want them and it's all virtual reality i'm just saying them. this is what this is what it looks like as soon as you look at that someone will die I don't know if it's been what? sold. I don't Mentally, know that's gonna fuck a lot of people up. I don't. What? I don't know if it's been sold or if it's available to sell. I don't know, but um, it's nine hundred ninety nine. This guy's this guy's estate has sold it to somebody who has put it up for sale. I don't oh, know. Okay. mad. Okay. But anyway, the price is nine hundred ninety nine Ethereum, which is mad. actually I said three point seven seven five, but you know these things change by the day. Right now, that is the equivalent to four point zero nine mad. million. Yeah. Shit, madness, madness. Well done so, today. Yeah. Shout out to him and mm. rest in peace to Chimudu. Yep. Rest in peace, Chimudu. Okay. Next thing on the list, Jordan one as oh, normal. Lord. Yes. Nike, you keep fucking with us. Literally. <laughs> anyway. Jordan four or Jordan one. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 Before we get into this, you remember I said Big on idiots, the last man. pod episode about those Jordan four bread golf shoes. They're yeah. making it. Yeah, yeah. They They're are. making it. Yeah. They're coming yeah. out. I told you, Nike. Yeah. Fuck y'all. <laughs> For, For real. Free. For Someone real. was like, uh, is it still copper drop? It might be a bit slippery if you take off the shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How much you gonna beat 
you up talking about cop or drop? You know, wanting to buy golf shoes. Me. <laughs> no. no it's still cop or drop in my business. Different. You know what, yeah? Like you can't still resell those shoes, though. Yeah, <laughs> you can yeah, still you remove can. it. You can, but I don't want to go through that. Why not? So it's so going to cost more than a trainer. Sand it down. Yeah, take it to cop surgery or something. Nah, it's going to cost more. Than buying that actual trainer. Not. It might not. not. Well, you want to go think to shoe, about shoe it. surgeon and ask him to do it? Shoe think shoe about it. Yeah, you know it's a word. See, it's the nice word seems like she sells seashells and seashells. Shoe surgeon. Go find a, go she find a really, really old, dusty pair of bread falls that the sole is still working. Put it on there. But it's dusty. <laughs> Put it on me. Yeah, isn't, it the vintage, isn't the vintage dusty look in now? I don't like that. Anyway, forget all of that. Jordan One Bread Elevate. Let's talk about it. Let's yeah. talk about how they keep doing women because it's a women's pair. And it let was me tell you. you that called out for this so is it, actually, is it actually coming out? Yes. It's real. Oh, yeah, fuck. It's that real. Shit. Yeah, that thing. Why do they always want to make funky things for women? That it's actually that so sucks. annoying. And today, I actually went to Foot Locker. Yeah. And I was in there. I was looking at the men's wall. Mm. Men's wall, cool, fine. All the, the men's wall's you dead, can man. Imagine, yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All of the normal Air Forces, you go to the women's side, if it's not pastel pink or neon green, the Air Force, the swoosh is here. Mate, the shoe it's is here. here. The back <laughs> is there, the front is here. It's so just, it never makes sense because they want to make funky stuff for women. Why? The Why? shoe, the shoe looks it. like, have you guys watched Mr. Magoo? <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I've... Remember the eggplant car? You don't remember the egg part? I know it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know what Mr. Magoo yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. The shoe looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen Mr. Magoo, you remember the egg part? That was car? a great Mate. show. That's what the shoe looks like. Do you know like. what the shoe reminds me of? Do you know what the shoe reminds me of? It reminds me of fake Alexander McQueen's. It's yeah, worse than that because it's got a little. Yeah, no, no, no. But you rap. know the fake Alexander McQueen's, they're like, they're kind of. <laughs> <laughs> they look a bit dusty. We've seen quite a few baby. of those. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, next thing <laughs> on the list. We coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should. <laughs> next thing on the list is, as you can see, we said that um, by the name of this episode, you can see that we're talking about Yeezy, mm. Kanye. Yeah. No, no, no. So the reason why I'm saying this is that the judge has confirmed yes. or agreed or approved, mm. however it may be, <laughs> that Kanye can now call himself Ye. Yeah. Like Ye. Ye. <laughs> Ye. <laughs> Angela Ye. Angela Ye. Angela Ye. Mr. Ye. He's have a bad time for Kanye's car, man. At least when they get him up there with him. Yeah, man. They probably, they we're, at, we're now here with Angela Ye. Angela and Ye. Ye. Wait, has Ye Kanye, and Ye. Has Kanye been on Breakfast Club? Yeah, that's yeah, the one where yeah. he sat there like this and he was... It was. Oh wait, did he go on Breakfast Club? I don't think that was Breakfast Club. No, I think it was you're thinking Club. of Sway. Yeah, I think of Sway. He hasn't no, been no. on Breakfast Club. No, 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 I don't think you. They won't allow him on there. No, I, feel I don't like, think you'll ever go there. Like he had a, he had an interview with Charlemagne. I though. know, but I'm sure he's done Breakfast Club. Mm -mm. Even if it was back, he did. Okay, back uh, in 2013, that was a time ago. I, I'm, yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was a wild episode. There's diamond chains on his neck, so he was kind of okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's smiling as well. Okay, sorry. Wow. Um, yeah, well. so he's officially changed his name to Ye. Yeah. That means he's dropped the last name, dropped Drop the first everything. name. It's just, just purely Ye. Ye. So no Kanye West, just Ye. Just it's a Ye. moniker. So That's it. That means one name. <laughs> so wait, wait. So wait. No, no, wait, wait. Just wait, Ye. wait. Ye. So Ye, Ye, if that's Ye. the case. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, but I'm, no, no, because I'm about to spin this coop. Okay. okay. If his name is Ye. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say what I can say. If his name is Ye. <laughs> What are his kids' name? Oh, it's because they got no Pika last name anymore. Maybe they're going to start calling them Saint Kardashian. Saint, no, just Saint. Okay, Saint. That's okay. A, quite, quite cool, you know. I allow it. You can't take away my heritage. <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> long line of heritage. The reason, no, the reason why they can, I'm your daddy. Yeah, but you I'm your my sir. name. What happens no. to Wait, my name? What happens to his estate now? Because he's no longer Kanye West. So he's just, no, they change he's everything. His estate belongs to Kanye West. No, no, because no, they'll change the name and everything. It's name. Don't act silly. I'm Come just me. saying. You're acting <laughs> silly. I'm nah, so no one just... can change their name to Kanye West and legally take some shit. Oh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they would have changed all... They'll change the names and everything. Think about it. Think, Think about, about it. it. <laughs> Look, nonsense. Ye, anyway, ye, 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 ye. If his name is ye. If his name is ye. Next thing on the list is... I... You know what? I'm, I'm kind of happy about this. Octavian has quit music. I'm not happy. I'm not bothered. I don't care. No, do you know what I find so funny? Why do you... <laughs> why are you black? Why did you make the <laughs> announcement, yeah, to say that you quit music as if you had a choice? No, because... <laughs> you know what? Do you know what? Exactly. You know what, yeah? All right, I'm cool. Done. You guys yeah, won. I'm you... not going to do music anymore. Do you Brother, know what? Do you know you didn't have a single choice? Like, do you know that you actually quit you music been, last you, you year? You were done in the game yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. No, do you know what's so mad? No, he didn't quit me. No, I know he what quit. you mean. No, he, 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 he was quit. quitted. No, he was no, no, quitted. Because no, he released a song, yeah? He released a song sometime <laughs> this year. 
He did he? released one or two songs. Who he knew did. about I it? I think the views were one. Ah. <laughs> and and when he was the one. Yeah. Him and his dog. <laughs> Please, man. Nah, I, nah. I, I, I don't feel sorry for him. No one does. Who man. does, man? So he was dropped by his record label, but shit. then here's the announcement that. Oh, but that was since. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, but it, it's <laughs> still <laughs> shit. That's when he quit music. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You were at quit No, no, that's, that's, not when, the, that's not when he quit music. Music quit him. Ah, <laughs> period. So that's this is what he said in his caption. He said, quitting music. I don't Love. know why you're announcing. Anyway, Sigh. quitting music, innocent or not, doesn't matter in my city. I'm not in a good place. Thank you to everyone who kept me mentally stable. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for your patience. Forever grateful. Going away for now. We'll see you soon. And then he said, people judge without trusting that God sees all. Oh, they, uh-huh. love. they, love, hey. to, they hey. love to include God they when that. they messed up. God said, no, where am I? Leave me, me alone. No, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say something here. Yeah. God alone. wasn't with you when you was on the He's acid. Like, I don't, don't <laughs> Reals. Reals. Oh, no, God wasn't hours, with you when dude. you was rubbing acid in your, your teeth. Acid and roses. And you was just doing. Uh, yeah. Why does acid sound more aggressive than it actually is? It's just shrooms. Like shrooms and LSD in that. Is yeah, that well, acid? acid? Yeah, that's what acid is. When it's they shrooms. say, yeah, acid. I that's what they make powder. it sound like. I thought that bath salts. <laughs> no, nah, do you know what? Because because I don't, <laughs> I, I don't do drugs. But uh, I thought acid. Period. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought acid was the thing that they rub in their teeth, and you know when they grind like their the, teeth too much, like the baby powder yeah, for the baby gums. No, even not. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen some people? The jaw is swinging. No, not oh. those. You know, <laughs> you, know those, you, know those you know those. You know those heavy coffee drink drinkers. Yeah, in the corporate world, and yeah. they grind their teeth too much, and you can see that they've been filing their teeth. And they see that. Yeah, and it's mad straight. You ever seen them? And you can see the 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 core of their teeth. I've never seen it's that. I've seen it's that with his Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grind. Grinding. Grinding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. That, yeah. So I was speaking to my friend about it, yeah. Mm. And I was like, I was. I was uh, I don't know if I can talk about it. You know I, was what? Doing, I was talking to my friend about someone that said that they took acid, yeah? And I was like, can you believe that my friend is taking acid? I wrote acid in council letters. He was like, I promise you, it's actually not that deep. I was like, acid? Acid? acid. acid. No, I believe nah. it's deeper than that. It's got nah. Steven and Ratman. Anyway, Octavian said, God sees all. Life is about making mistakes and learning. People take away my right to do so. People get 11 allegations and still go on. Huh? But they don't go I on in the music no, scene. Bruce, 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 Bruce. He Bruce. said, I've got one allegation from my ex of four years, no arrest, no charge, and I made an example. This is not for me. Bruce, yeah. Look, I'm not, we're not going to do that. We're yeah. not going to do this. Let me sit you down. I understand. Listen to me, young man. <laughs> you fucked up, okay? Accept yeah. it. Keep it moving on. Yes. Don't, don't do all of this. God help me. God, God will help you. Yeah. And God will change you, mm-hmm. but it doesn't change your past. Okay. Once you are saved, your scars are still there. Sorry, it's Pastor Tony. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me tell there you something right now. There will be repercussions there for will your be. actions. No, but for real. For but real. God I, I, still really, forgives you. He yep. does. God forgive you. The whole world's going to try and forgive you. But <laughs> trust me, they ain't going to Hell do. no. The same way I didn't forgive R. Kelly. Same way I'm not no, going to forgive this. No, sir, no, sir. Forgiveness has nothing to do with consequences. And the sooner we realize that the better off we will oh be. My it doesn't matter you if you've been forgiven. You are going to pay for the crime <laughs> exactly. that you made. <laughs> what are we <laughs> doing out here? Nah. I don't know why people love to God is saying knock knock nigga. It's right. a, anyway, it's crazy. last thing on the list because I just saw Casey bring up her phone because mm. I forgot it on my regular news. Come on. The first, how can I say the, the first? first. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm too excited. <laughs> so, <laughs> Facebook, Mark yeah. Zuckerberg. 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 Mark Zuckerberg Zuckerberg. is changing Facebook name. And the reason why he's changing uh, Facebook is he wants to change it to like a metaverse. A metaverse. Look, it's not that. They messed up recently, big no, no. time. Over of the course. past few I think years. It's, I think it's oh, definitely as a result a of the really fuck. You think, you think, you think I'm going to forget that it's Facebook? The last thing that done it for them is when everything... Really. Exactly. Exactly. We got to go. Do you know what? Do you know what? I think we got to pivot. Change it up. What is so mad here is that... He's been fucked up so many times. He's, yeah. he's gone through a lot of But he's trying to copy the same thing Google did. Yes. Mm. So he's trying to have a um, full rebrand. No. Like a um, holding. A holding company. Oh, so if Google's like Alphabet. An yeah. 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 So exactly. But that means Facebook was still. No. So no. Facebook, Facebook is the is the, the parent company. company. Yeah. It's the parent company. So they're gonna change the name of Facebook. So Facebook ain't gonna have an F no more. So then what's yeah. so they're gonna Book. change the social media the social media. So page they, so so what they're saying is that they're gonna rebrand is everything that you said basically. So they they're gonna change. 
that we don't know what's going to happen with it. This is what I'm saying. I think you're right. I think mm. Facebook's is soon going to shut down. Yeah, it's done. They're yeah, soon yeah, going to do gone, something man. with that. Yeah. So I think they're getting rid of that. But under that, they want to have Instagram, obviously, um, yeah. WhatsApp, WhatsApp and mm. Oculus. Yeah, so, yeah. Something that Basically, they have yeah, Oculus. Oculus is the virtual reality then. That's there the virtual go. reality system. So that's what they're going to have yeah. under that. So I think um, I think yeah. the 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 thing that broke the camel's back was when everything shut down. Ah, uh, that shut down. <laughs> they were like, and, he, so, and he saw his net worth to beat by six yeah. billion. He's like, oh god. <laughs> We 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 got it. We got it. He broke into the office and looked at Do y'all not see this? Do you not see? I haven't answered Instagram for the last five hours. Man, man burst through the double doors. <laughs> What's going on? Like six million in two hours. Two hours. Hours. Literally, you're messing with my net worth here. You're messing with no, it. No, no, no. Who gets fired after losing the CEO six billion? <laughs> <laughs> the whole the, the whole ops team yeah, yeah, the whole floor <laughs> the whole 17th floor you know, whoever is there exactly, they're exactly. off that's exactly, exactly, exactly pack your bags if you're not supposed to be there if you're on that floor pack gone. your you're bags over. okay no move. pension no nada <laughs> no, but, but you know what the mad thing is yeah that's crazy because mad. I've I've had interviews with Facebook oh, okay. Well. Okay. Yeah, I've had interviews with Facebook <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and their ops team yeah mm. is so huge it's mm. international. So yeah, we need to find what company. region it was. Is it AirPack? Is it North America? <laughs> is it EMAC? Yeah, EMAC. Which, yeah. which one are you messing up? Because I'm about to shut you, you down. You find out that it was one person that plugged their laptop short circuit and everything. Wait, someone else trying to buy crypto. <laughs> someone was trying to download LimeWire. <laughs> short circuit and everything. Bear share. <laughs> now the whole line is gone. Yeah, I forgot about Bear Share. Shout out Bear Share. Bear Share bear was share. full of porn though. Was really? It? That one was I don't, I don't know about Bear Share. When did I buy Bear Share? How <laughs> about the bed? <laughs> All I'm trying to do is turn my second one. And I hear it's oh, it's a fucking outrage. What a oh, mess, man. God. <laughs> turn my swag on. Please, let's move on. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, no! No, uh, no! Now you're fucking ah, everything! Ah, ah. Me and my dial up. <laughs> Hold on to the PC! That dial up was Oh, because I'll plug my phone, oh, god my damn. The landlines unplugged. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Guys, that brings us to our main topic today. Yes, it does. Thank you, MBT, for the news. Thank you, sir. Now, speaking of old music. Old music. Today's, yes, no. thank you, today's episode is I Miss the Old Kanye. Mm. Okay. I Miss the Old Kanye. Yeah, okay. Not the new Kanye. I Miss the Old Kanye. Oh, is this you trying to sing the song but you yeah, don't know yeah. the words? <laughs> <laughs> Same line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, who's going to know? Repeat Nobody's going to know. <laughs> <laughs> I Miss the Old Kanye. No. I Miss the Old Kanye. Take one else. Y'all know it. Sing along. <laughs> no, Y'all know the words. When I said I Miss the Old Kanye, I tell you, said, I Miss the New Kanye. I think he's going to go back and forth. Oh, and then when I said I miss the old Kanye <laughs> and then they went silent I was like oh shit who are you expecting that's not even a song I miss the old Kanye yeah uh-huh. come on y'all you know the song nah, y'all know the sing words it. sing along at home everybody now <laughs> hear the words of the music Susie <laughs> Heavy Cops <laughs> oh it's better you grow up that's good it comes <laughs> it's the old Kanye <laughs> <laughs> oh <Stop>. my days! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, come on! Wow, wow! Oh my goodness! Yeah, cool. Okay, topic, guys, guys, please listen. We've seen a lot of crazy things from Kanye. Yeah, okay, man. obviously he changed his name to you, Change and um, that's not all we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> What about, what about boy shy email? What's that? That for Balenciaga. I'm like, what the heck is that to Balenciaga? Man said, man said, when he said in the barber chair, be creative. Be creative. He said, just fuck me up. I don't know, do you, man? Weed whacker. Give me the weed that whacker. That clip was shot off many times while he was cutting. You know, you know, you know when the barber's cutting your hair, yeah? And you're like, moving every time. He said, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, every time, bro. Oh my goodness! So from him, cut from him having the wackest haircuts to him now moving as if he's in the movie Halloween. <laughs> you know, you, you, know, know you know, you know, there's always that old man in the barber chair that no one wants to come back to. Hey, you want to come back to? Hey, I'm <laughs> 
Let me cut your hair. You and know? the thing is, you know, Kanye. Uh, you know, you know, Kanye. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the Why'd you come my chair, young man? <laughs> you, know, you know, Kanye is so always supporting um, brands. So he's like, yeah, man, I'm going to support this guy. Oh. Look, when he looks in the mirror, I say, oh. you so don't I'm fuck. I'm finished. He said, yeah. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> That's why he changed his name. Did you guys ever see that text when Kanye West was making Don then he fired the engineer? <laughs> what? You will never work this again. Really? He fired one the was, engineers. There was an yeah. engineer that he He woke well, up. He woke up late, yeah. <laughs> and at eleven o'clock Kanye West was like, Don't bother coming in. God bless. Oh. The engineer was like, I'm really sorry. He said, <laughs> Don't speak to me. <laughs> Go and get to know Jesus. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so similar anyway, to what that's what he said to the barber, for so sure. Similar to what he did to Chance the Rapper when he had the same in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that's why your album failed. Oh, my God. Better take that free off your head, boy. Oh, my God. Anyway, so we missed the old Kanye. So oh. we've been seeing what Kanye's been doing Ooh. over the last <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours, yeah. From him having the mushy mushy haircut uh, that one. to him having, <laughs> I don't know what this shit is. Because <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the white mask that he put on his face here scared me because you Did can you see, see the his eyes, eyes and you can see the ring of the and skin. And he's looking at him like this. <laughs> looking at <like> this. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Scary season. So. Mate. We're seeing all of this <sighs> and we wanted to really ask, like, Kanye, What's what went on? wrong? What a guan. Yeah, what, went, what went wrong? What's okay. Wrong? Yes, okay, cool. So let me ask, do you think that this, like, what he's doing right now, yeah, do you think this is just, like, typical normal Kanye? Or do you think that something is up? I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think it's this yeah, guy has so, this guy's multifaceted. Yeah. That's the best way for me to say it. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. He's, he's surprised us so many times, yeah, where it's like, everything is just brand new. Yeah. yeah. And something that he does, the next thing that he does, yeah, it's just, it just tops the next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, So I think this is, I think this is the stage of life that he's in right beating. now. He's just about topping his life now, topping the last thing that I've done so yeah it doesn't surprise me no it's weird yeah but it's it doesn't surprise weird. me anymore man but i'm not gonna lie this is this is very scary for me because for the fact that this guy is wearing masks mm. outside the mask isn't crazy no, do you know, do you know, do you know, he just wants privacy no, that know, one i don't mind do you know why the mask is cr- crazy mm. because i'm scared the thing is, I'm yeah. scared because you could do anything at any moment in time what do you mean? and you can say it wasn't me. Oh, <laughs> so Lord, everyone. You think, this is, you think this is you? You're trying to the black cap and then walk out, no one sees you. Hello? You think Look, that now, you're now you Clark Kent? Yeah, we in real you think life. You're Clark nigga. Kent, nigga, wearing glasses so you can't see yeah. me anymore. <laughs> nigga, it's you. <laughs> do you we know see, I can see you? you? <laughs> Go and talk to Jesus. That's what he was saying. <laughs> Joker. No, okay, man. cool. Speaking of all of the different phases that he's had, yeah. No, wait, before you move on, what about you? Um, I'm concerned. I am. You are. I think that. I'm not majorly concerned. I don't think it was like like I don't think it's like one of his episodes. If he does actually have bipolar, has he said that he's got bipolar, <laughs> or was it his just his wife? I've heard bipolar on so many different yeah, occasions, I think, well, to but be fair, not from his mouth. Kim, Kim confirmed that he that he had yeah, bipolar. bipolar. So let's just I mean that was his wife. So are they back together? No, no one knows. Okay, no. Um, well, no one knows. But well on the curve, we've... no. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so do I think it's another episode? I don't know about all of that. I think it might be a direct result of like the divorce mm. maybe mm. it's a major thing to like divorce kim kardashian of all people so i do think there's a little bit there but yeah oh, no. this doesn't feel like this is i don't know i don't i don't know he's gone through the divorce he went through the training program for donda mm. so i understand why he would be wearing a mask i don't know he's but just the, a bit the clothes as well is fucked up yeah it's balenciaga though yeah, yeah, it's and so what it so balenciaga a... gave you bin bags oh it's just balenciaga so i've been giving people bin bags for years now since time. <laughs> okay, it doesn't surprise me. Now, my question on phases: What do you guys think is your favorite phase of Kanye? Oh, oh, oh! That's a good um, question. Niggas in Paris phase. Yeah, mm. love that phase. That was a cocky Actually, ass no. phase. It was. Oh, it was so in your was face. Again. Like, was look, at me. look at me. I yeah. got this. Is, so, is that the one where he went onto stage and he was drunk with the Hennessy? That, yeah, I that's think, before that. I, yeah, I don't want to call that, that his yeah. phase. Yeah, that was like. That was like before. Um, that was before my beautiful doctor. Yeah, Fantasy. exactly. It was in between. He was just... He was so what's just Hennessy. The phase, Hennessy. Yeah. The phase, you do anything for Hennessy. The phase when he was doing the um, Louis Vuitton Jaspers. That was before. 
That was like early 2000s. Not graduate. It? Is it graduation? graduation it is graduation. Time, yeah. That was like graduation. That, that would phase. be my favorite phase of it. So that's yeah. when he was wearing the Goyard suitcase and he was yeah. having yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like 808's time. 808's, yeah. That was 808's. Yeah. Yeah. That would probably be my favorite time because yeah. he was just exper- experimenting was exploring with shit. Like, yeah, fashion wise, he was. Fashion wise, he was growing. So he was doing a lot. And I like how he created that group that he had. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I thought you would have said. <clears throat> the time where he was wearing the leather trousers and Saint Laurent boots. Yeah, no, that was just. That after. is another that, good time. Is that is that niggas in Paris face still? Or was it just after? I think that would definitely no. I think it was niggas. That in Paris is face. niggas in Paris. I would count that is. I think so. Heidi Slimane time. Th- that as well. That Jibushi. as well. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That would have been one of my favorites. But I decided to choose something different because I, I really like that. Mm. I really like I that. Hear phase. It. I think you're right. I think Watch the Throne phase is what is what really. Phase. You think Watch the Throne yeah, as well? I think, that was I think the Watch the Throne <laughs> phase was he was fucked up. No, no, no. no. I think he was man. on one. Do you know why? And in a good way. I mean, straight after my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, mm. he was still doing the work. Yeah. There was he wasn't really like the guy then. But Watch the Throne, Watch the Throne came out a year after. Yeah. Mm. He's like, I just gave you my beautiful Dark, Dark Twisted. Dark Twisted Fantasy, that was a masterpiece. Yeah. I've given you Watch the Throne. Niggas can't chat shit to They me. can't chat shit. I don't yeah. care. I don't care about Taylor Swift. Bitch. Mate. Bitch. I like, hear it. I'm doing I hear it. me. I hear it. Like, I hear it. Even, even outside the music, the fashion game, what he done there yeah. in that period was sensational. So that was 2012? I want to say. Watch the Throne came you're out talking, you're when, talking before about I went to fashion. uni. When hmm? was... Oh, when was... um. That album that he did with um, Good Music that had Mercy and Click. Oh, uh, um, Cruel oh, Summer. That was 2012. Summer? Yeah. Cruel was it Cruel Summer? Summer? Yeah, Cruel Summer. Yeah, that whenever that was. In... Her. Yeah, because then... 2012. Yeah, that was 2012. Mm. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy must have been a couple years before. Yeah. Because Watch the Throne was the year before that. And then... <clears throat> so My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was 2010 then. Must have been. Watch the Throne was 2011. Cruel Summer was 12. That mm. period... You could not chat to Kanye. Talk to him. Really? Yeah, my beautiful you could not chat to, Thank you. You could not <clears throat> chat to Kanye. You could not say no, a no. single word. Every yeah, every, he, had, he had everything covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clothing, clothing, music, music. Uh, he wasn't into. He wasn't the into whole, fashion yet. He wasn't you know, into not fashion, designing. but designing that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. In he, terms of the celeb didn't exist world at that time, right? Did yeah. No, did Yeezy, Yeezy exist? Did, Yeezy no, no, no. No, I think he was. He was taking on Yeezy at that point. Yeezy didn't exist. No, Yeezy with Adidas. Yeah. Really? But wait, was Yeezy? It was Yeezy at Nike then. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, the, the he just, first phase. He wasn't with anyone at that point because he did the Yeezy, the Yeezy 2s. Did he left Nike? This is what I'm saying. I little, don't think it was. There was that middle period before he went to Adidas. And that's because really? that, he went to Adidas once he started talking about it. As you know. I'm just thinking uh, when I was in uni, I didn't see anyone wearing Yeezys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Facts. it wasn't, it didn't come out 2012. Which, didn't which come one out are you talking about? The, um, 15, 2015. V- 2015. That's when it came out six years ago. Yeah, yeah. so no, it, was, oh, it wasn't then. It wasn't then. Oh, what is that with Adidas? Yeah, Adidas. Oh, no, that means it was then when he was doing it with Nike. No, because he stopped. He's not, the Nike, the Nike one was Check. like twenty twelve. Mm. The AEZ two was the last AEZ one. AEZ was twenty twelve and twenty fourteen. Yeah. The AEZ okay, two. Okay, so that's the gap he was talking about. Yeah. So from twenty. Yeah. Two thousand nine and two thousand twelve. Oh, this guy jumped quiet. shit real quick. Nothing yeah. happened between two thousand nine and two thousand twelve. Because Air Yeezys came out in 2009, Air Yeezy 2, 2012, there was mm. nothing in between. There's nothing in between. So that time was, so it, that we was free, focusing that free on music. Gap. It was the music. music. 10, 11, and 12, music. No one was chatting for Loved him. Loved him, man. That's that was the did. perfect phase. You're yeah. absolutely right. That Boy. was the best phase. I have missed that. So where did it all go wrong? Before you go there, least favorite. Least favorite. Least favorites right yeah. now, man. Um, no, nah, I wouldn't say right now. I think least favorite for me was Yeezus album. Jesus, Jesus. Where he was, this okay. is the time when he was, um, he was going through the battle of trying to burst through the fashion game, and he wasn't really focusing on music as much as he as a, as much as I would have wanted him to. Then he brought Jesus, and it was like, mm, I mean, the albums are sober, sober. It's nothing. I mean, great. Jesus was the year after Cruel Summer. Now, I still, are I still don't. Sure? I still, I'm gonna put it as that. Yeah, if not. Then I'm gonna be that guy and say, yeah, it's early years because real and truly, when you're starting out trying to figure out yourself, I'm not gonna lie, Fair. it wasn't okay, the best years. Fine. So yeah, you said right now. Yeah, I said right now. Do you stand right. by right now? Yeah, right now. He looks <clears throat> fucked up, but he's Sorry. a billionaire. And, and so, so that well, this is the this is the argument a lot of people chuck out there because if he's seen so much success in his career now financially, mm. is he really doing anything that's wrong? A lot of people uh, argue that. But the thing is, is okay, with with money, <clears throat> even though he's got the money, mm. fam, look at what he's going through. Yeah. Psh, exactly. It's a clear example. Yeah. Look at what he's going through. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to the rich dad, poor dad guys out there. Yeah. They'll say Think he's living about life. It. Yeah, but <laughs> time is money. Yeah, huh? we're not gonna get yeah. we're not gonna get into that. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> my least favorite was the Yay album and the Kids See Ghost. Oh yeah, that album was yeah, not, that, that was great. Whole that period, great. That great. even not 
the Jesus is King. Mm. That whole yeah, that whole saga, that whole phase. It's not my bag. Oh, yeah, it it's just great. the life of Pablo. I really, really enjoyed. That was amazing. that was great, and that, that was, was the great. last time oh, that Lord. I saw Kanye West as a musician. What a time. really for me? So what about the latest album? I just see him as a producer. Yeah. Yeah, that was that. Kanye and his friends. Yeah. Like the songs that I like on the Donda album have nothing to do with what Kanye was doing there, except for um, the Lauren Hill sample one. Okay, whatever that's called. Okay, that, that, that song is sensational. That song really reminded and me of what Kanye, Kanye, Kanye was like. Man, yeah. I, I, yeah. I agree. I agree with you. The latest album makes me see him as a producer. As a producer, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. Hurricane was a stupid song. <coughs> the one with the weekend, and little baby. Yeah, yeah. Mm. who would have put them two together? Uh, Kanye. Exactly. Mm. As a producer, <laughs> not as a, I didn't want to hear his verse. The song with Five Year and Playboy Carti, I, I enjoyed yeah. off the grid. Yeah, not not Kanye's verse. Yeah. just Five Years. That verse is fire. Serious. Okay, he did a really good job. Serious. But yeah, again, did he have the onomatopoeia? Yes, of course. Mm. And the put the, the box in his face. Yeah, Palili. Yeah, that's Palili. it. Palili. 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 Okay. <laughs> well, you asked, where did it all go wrong? So yeah, where, so where do you, where, <laughs> where did it all go, where did it all go wrong for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good question because I feel, I actually feel like this guy has had his ups and downs, mm-hmm. but every time he's come out of his down, mm. he's That's just got better. Bad. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. So I- I'm like, when, when was the worst? The worst time for him is obviously when his mom died. Because that's when I feel like I don't think that was the, the multiverse worst happened. The worst, the worst, <laughs> the worst times in terms of in terms of what exactly? Huh? The ter- like the it bro- it broke him. In I regards, th- obviously, yes. Okay, cool. When he went through that saga, but I'm I'm like when he went through that saga, mm. fam. This guy has been up and down like a yo-yo. It, it's definitely something where looking from the outside, looking in, yeah, that has to be something that I feel like has impacted him a lot. Mm-hmm. Whether he's healed from that, I don't know. Um, but I definitely feel that like definitely had a big impact on him. However, I will say where things started to go wrong, where going back to what I said just now, before mm. about him being financially better off, mm-hmm. was when he started venturing off into the fashion world and really? forgetting about music as much because I feel <coughs> like he, he was so engaged and he, he, the want to want to blow in the fashion world took over mm. music got put to a side and we knew Kanye for music like mm. we and truly I would want someone that wanted to do something else to at least try and maintain what they, what they originally known yeah. for mm. and he didn't really do that and we mm. and truly you could see that from what he was putting out post that period Scoop. Mm. nothing compares whoop, whoop. In, exactly it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. still good Live but this is, this is this the thing about Kanye is that he's so good at music here, even when he's putting out rubbish it's because still, he's a great producer yeah, it still, still can slaps, bang yeah. I mean what about the song that he put out with um What's that guy with the with the coloured braids? Um, when they're wearing the big shoes. Oh, little um, um pump. Little yeah, pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that song that for was, me was, was like when you think of that song, it's You're rubbish, a, but it was such a good song. It's a great song. It's a great song. So, it's exactly. It's a great so it's like going back, but it's when you compare slapped. that to what he originally was bringing out, like you can't compare to that. Like you can't. No, you, you can't. can't put the two next to each other. So once you started venturing into the fashion world, yeah, that's when I think he started taking a dive. Do you think um, that there was? Um, so you said obviously. You feel like the Yeezy brand mm. and like fashion changed him yeah. for the worst. worst. For the worst, yes, from the aspect of being a fan of Kanye, the music. Okay. But obviously, from his life, he's, he's a birthed. lot better off now than of he was course. then, yeah. obviously. So it's what, like. <clears throat> what do you think? Do you agree? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. I agree. hear that. I hear that. I think he wasn't able to balance being a mogul in fashion mm. and being a musician but that is mad like in two 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 huge industries yeah 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 i would you say he's mastered the music industry because if you you, because if you can say he's what is the the measure of success yeah what is what are you trying to compare what what is the measure of success but no this is what i'm saying because if you can say that he's mastered the music industry for himself Mm. in a in a sense that okay cool he's brought out great albums yeah Yeah. he's a great producer Mm. What's left? No, but you know I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm yeah. saying that even as you're asking that question, has he mastered mm. it? What else does he really have to do? That's, like, what, I'm, yeah, that's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I completely hear it. And I actually, you're really, really you, right. Like, yeah. what else do you need to do? Like, why, why do I need to keep on giving you good music anyway? Exactly. Yeah, really? I feel like at one do point, we used, winning, to, we used to measure that a lot against like yeah. Grammy Awards. And yeah, your stuff, album gets better and better. Yeah, or, after yeah. some time, since as of recently, when <clears> people <throat> started to, yeah, it's mad. Uh, people uh, started to reject uh, <laughs> what the Grammys have been doing and all yeah. the award shows and saying that, look, I don't need recognition to say that this is good. Yeah. So 
taking that away from it, yeah, re and truly, what else has he really got to do? Now he yeah. does have the time to venture off into fashion. He's done fashion re and truly. Yeah. He, he's made that. And he's yeah. the best in what he's currently exactly. doing. Exactly. And now he, he wants to go into interiors and design and architecture and all that kind of stuff. He's going it's into like, fashion and, and yeah, and like you say, he's going it's into. mad because in his lifespan, he's done a lot, really and truly. He really has. Yeah, he really has. Do you know yeah, what? I was. When, when Drake's album came out, yeah, I should have just wrote this article like I was supposed to. I wanted to write this piece around the album because the mm. album, to me. You still can. Uh, it's not too late. The album to me was not good. Drake's it, album? Yeah. Okay. To the standard that Pink I ass. would have expected and what I had anticipated based on the marketing and the fact that he hasn't brought an album in so long. Yeah. So I was disappointed at first. And then I was like, well, actually, what the hell? Like, what's the measure of success here? Like, mm. what's, who's, who's Drake running with? He's on his own at the top. That's true. He is the best at what he does or what he's currently doing. Yeah. No one's touching him. No mm. one's chatting for him. When yeah. it comes to music, he's enjoying himself. There is no competition. He's having a good time. He can bring out whatever the hell he likes. Rose. Yeah. Like he can actually bring out whatever he wants. That that there's one song on that album, um, way too sexy. Yeah. That song was a joke. It was abs- absolute why not? Bans, but it's sensational. Why not? Why not? I'm here for the banter. <laughs> I've done sensational. everything I need to do. I've got I've done pla- I've gone platinum. I've got the Grammy, and it doesn't mean anything to me anyway. I'm enjoying life. My mm. kids eating well. I hear it. I've got the biggest house I can have. In Canada. What else do you want <laughs> but, from me? Okay, but do you know what? No, you're actually I know. Right. What you're saying is 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 so true. Because yeah. with everything, when you get to that point in time, yeah, you would feel like, okay, cool, I've achieved everything. Let me now just. But have what fun else do I need to do? But the yeah. thing is, the reason why I didn't accept that is the fact that, okay, cool, you have fans for the love of the art. Yeah. That love your music, mm. so mm-hmm. you want to continue. You need to continue bringing out quality. I, I hear that, that but, but was then... it that bad to say that it wasn't quality? Um, I hear, I, what? I, I um, hear what you're saying, album, but yeah. it wasn't up to I'm, the I'm... level that a lot of his fans expected. Okay. Me being one of them, we were really hoping for Drake to bring out yeah, something. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I would. I was really looking forward to another like, and um... it didn't give what it needed to another take care. Yeah, I yeah, would. Yeah, I would have been happy yeah, yeah. if this was Drake's like. Not last, but last, yeah, like his last good raw. quality yeah, album, yeah, and everything yeah. after that was like features or this and yeah. that. I would have yeah. been happy with that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. after being that. in lockdown, yeah, and you teasing us with the leak that you know you purposely did mm. champagne, papi, <laughs> you know what you did, <laughs> mate. Forget, it, man. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, great. Yeah, 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 I hear that, but then even like this whole idea of like, oh, I need to keep my fans happy. No, no. But why? Uh, I hear it. You need, you need no, to be careful. No, with that. I hear what you're. I hear what you're saying. I yeah. do. I get it. But I disagree. I just feel like I'm doing this for me. And the thing is, Drake actually said it in the song. I can't remember which one it was. He was like, as soon as I stop having fun with it, I'll be done with it. I'm done. Mm. And I just feel like he's just having a good old time. Do you think that's what happened to Kanye as well then? I don't think that's what happened at first. No. <laughs> at first. No, 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 no. No, I don't so think what, that's what, what happened was at Kanye first. Kanye and music. Yeah, Kanye and music, it was fun. No, no, no. I'm not. What I'm saying is, do you think the the idea stopped? of as soon as I stop having fun with yeah, yeah, when the fun stops, stop. <laughs> when the fun stops, stop. I don't think that relates to when he started bringing out shit music. Mm. Let me go through his disc- discography. Yeah. Okay, cool. Where it went wrong for me. Yeah, let's go. Listen, come on, man. He had college dropout, late registration, late mm. orchestration, graduation. I've never heard of late orchestration before. You know what? Yeah, it's one of those what's ones that? That, that falls under the Oh, concept. that's the one at Abbey Road Studios. Mm. I was thinking, what's that? Um, graduation, 808s and heartbreak, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Are you hearing that, what that I'm saying? That period, yeah. I'm Watch telling the you. throne, Jesus. To be fair, I know you don't like it, yeah, yeah. but Blood on the Leaves is on, on that Blood one. Blood on the Leaves is And that song is and sensational. Wolves? And Bound. And no, Wolves, Wolves is on Wolves the, Life of Pablo. Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, what's the other one? Black um, Skinhead. Dan, Black Dan, Skinhead. Dan, Dan, Dan. That one, yeah, is a serious song. Okay, that song, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bound. Serious song. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know that one. Bound to Farley. Oh, okay, yeah, great song. Uh huh, honey. Come on, yeah, great let's song, not. Great song, so that was Jesus, please. There great were a couple song. on there that mm. were enjoyable. Let's not. As an album, though. Don't worry about that. Still enjoyable <laughs> bangers. Life of Pablo. Ultra light beam. Oh, to like, stretch my hands. Look, I can tell you right now, one. yeah, to the guys of Maiden Chafford and all my brother man's out in uh, Chafford 100, you'll remember such an amazing time. We were up north in. What's that area called? Nottingham. Yeah. yeah. Was Nottingham? I can't believe you went to Nottingham. No, no. What's, what's the, what New Castle. New Castle. You went to Black Cloud, New Newcastle. Castle. Yeah, visiting one of our boys, Shout Mumbai. Okay. I uh, went to go visit Shout. my bar out there. And we just came back from a night out. Yeah. yeah. This is the first night out. So everyone was hammered. Finished. Finished. Yeah. Everyone passed out in the living room. Mm-hmm. And then my boy Demi, shout out Demi. He's on Main Chap podcast. Um, he put on the, um, the album. album on his laptop and he paid Father Stretch My Hands. Yeah. And you can imagine the sun beaming yeah. through the beautiful window morning. and your hair, beautiful yeah. morning. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Mate. Yeah. That, that, was, that song. Was Lifelong real. memories. Oh yeah. my days. 
Yeah, that song, yeah. sensational. There were so many bangers on this oh, one. My Famous. Man, um, my baby, kind of hard to love a girl like me. I know that you wanted to be free. I just wanted you to now. Make, make, make that. Look, yeah. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. This is not karaoke, okay? All right, okay. We'll say that for another day. I can just say right now, even that... Waves down, die, real friends. How many of us? Come on, too many. Do you know what? Just to... track. Just to enable us to move forward with the episode, yeah? I will leave you guys to choose an album. I will leave you guys to choose an album that we'll listen to on the way home. All right, cool. There you go. So... Anyway, let me ask you guys a question. Mm. Yes. So, what do you think his marriage with Kim did to him? Was it good? Was it bad? You know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Did I'm it gonna... impact him in a good way? Mm. Was it just for the kids? I don't think the marriage. Was it no just to have mixed race the... babies? That's it. Mm. The black gene in their family. You know they've been oh. looking for it. <laughs> gonna... Look, this episode is specifically about Cardi. We're gonna talk on the Kardashians. That's it for another. Well, episode. that's part of the family. Saint West. Oh, it's for yeah. another episode. However, I don't think that the marriage is anything to him. If anything, I really feel like it made him a father figure in... Like, he really grew the fatherness. Mm. The father, yeah, I, the think father it, I think it helped him, you know. The father fatherness within him. Like, I really feel like he really got... He really, like, enjoyed being part of the family. Yeah. Mm. From the outside looking in, that's yeah, what I saw. So, yeah. I don't think it did anything bad to him in any way. Obviously, we don't know the ins and outs of the marriage, per se. Mm. Him yeah. and him as one. Yeah. We don't know what was going on mm. in, in that personal thing. But mm. from the outside looking in and the family look that they showed, it looked yeah. like he was really just enjoying that time. And he yeah. still is enjoying it. I think um, the scariest moment of of his fa- of him being a father, or he is a father, is when um, he came out of the, go- um, the golf buggy and he was dancing on the side with his child. Oh, he like, said, I mean, the, May- the Maybach. I don't even no. know what it is. Have you, have you seen the meme one? I'm talking about? No. Where he's dancing, he comes off the golf buggy and, the, and, and the he's dancing. Car. Oh, you haven't seen why it. Why is that scary to you? No, because I'm like, why are you doing that? He looked like Thank someone had taken God. over him. Oh, Take Lord. 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 Is nah, nah. Oh, Lord. And, but anyway, yeah. what I'm trying to say, him being a father, I feel like helped him in a big way. Because mm. obviously his mom dying, I feel like it brought him back yeah. into reality. Yeah. 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 And that. gave him that like kind of, I don't know, like that I think it grounded life. him a bit. I yeah, think it grounded right. him. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. I kind of yeah, I agree. I think to be honest, I know everyone has their opinion on Kim Kardashian. Mm. But I think for the most part, it was a very positive relationship exactly. for him. Yeah. I think from what obviously we will never know, but what like from what I saw, it was a lot of support. And I personally don't think he would be anywhere as successful as he is. Yeah. He wouldn't oh, have been no. nearly as much as a mogul without Kim's help. 100%. Because no matter how anyone wants to spin it, that family, mm. yeah, they are moguls. Marked in They geniuses. are insane with it. Like, we've never seen anything nah. like that in our time. Especially a family. I th- I think exactly. We just, I, I think, as a whole family. I think we need to do an episode on them, you know. I don't know. I don't know as much about the Kardashians. I don't know. I don't think I want to know. But shout out to them. And I will never not give them the credit that they Kim, deserve. Kim, Kylie, that, that. Um, it's person. over yeah. but um, I think I think there is a lot that um, Kim and her family have contributed to Kanye <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you clocked out I was going alright no problem okay. to Kanye's to okay. Kanye's um, <laughs> life and career yeah so yeah <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's All right, my <laughs> look at that. Like this. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question <yeah>. Anyway, <laughs> so um, okay, moving on from that. Okay, so we know Kanye's been is a heavy Christian. He's yeah. saved. Um, Yeezy, um, not Yeezy. <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert calls him a pastor. <laughs> a fake pastor. <laughs> so, yeah, fake do you think yeah. Christianity has helped him? And let me even ask you guys this question: God forgive me. Mm. Do you think? He's playing into this in a sense that he's used it as a ploy. He's used it as a ploy, used it as a marketing tool. Or do you think I, I don't know. I don't know. This is a question for you guys. I'm asking a question. I just you know, ask questions. In this day and age, yeah, I feel like being saved looks very different. Yeah, um, it looks for everyone. everyone. For everyone. Yeah. yeah. So I can't really talk about that per se. However, uh-huh. however, the company you keep, yeah, ah. but a man does <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like what? you had you had Marilyn, Marilyn Manson, Manson at your show, your burning house. I know it's all imagery and it's all art, yeah, and all that yeah. kind of stuff, all that good stuff. Mm. But you have um, you have uh, what's his name? 
was Playboy Carti and all your songs. This yeah. guy has mm-hmm. upside down crosses in his visions, like in in these um videos, videos at his concerts, yeah, recent yeah. concerts. Who? Yeah. Playboy, Playboy Carti. Yeah. I said that's the person you listen to. Doesn't he have an upside down? I think he's no, got no. his face too. Or something. Sure Maybe some. Got no, he's got an earring. He wears an upside down upside cross. And there was a picture that I saw of him a while ago. This was the scariest picture I've ever seen of anybody. And this guy actually like the devil. Like he had yeah. horns that looked like they yeah, were actually yeah, yeah, permanent yeah, horns yeah, on his yeah, forehead. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I feel yeah, like I the, 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 the media, damn the media industry for the longest of time has always been putting out vision, uh, visuals, demonic, yeah, visuals mm-hmm. that are very demonic, and it doesn't, it hasn't changed. But I feel like people are a lot more in your face about it, mm. and people are pushing it to the side a lot. And really and truly, if you're gonna go out and say that you are um, a Christian and you're saved and you're this, this, and that, yeah, really and truly, there's some stuff that you actually can't continue in on that path with yeah and no matter how much you want to try and save everyone around you it's going to bring you down too yeah so i yeah. can't really agree with that side of things however i i don't judge anyone you oh, do yeah of you. course yeah when we're all, t- we're all answering to god it'll be you that has to talk about yeah of course all of this stuff so of course salvation is always personal mm. and yeah again i'm not gonna speak to i think we touched on this so briefly with yeah. um will shout out will shout yeah. out. when he came um on to the episode that he was on mm. 75 think that he so. was on yeah think so. um and he was like yeah i'm not gonna get into it but i i don't want to get into it either yeah but like talk you said talk. yeah there is a point where there needs to be a difference between someone that is saved mm. and someone that isn't yeah because now we're blurring the lines. Now it gets muddy. Yeah, it's muddy the waters. Lines. What, can't, how? This can't be muddy waters. Uh. Like, and I, I don't ever want to say that he's. Uh, first of all, oh, I'm so, I'm so um, particular about the words I use because I never want to sound like I'm doing the judgy judgy. No, stuff. for yeah. sure. I really, re- and that's one thing I really don't like mm, specifically. Yeah. But I think it says in the Bible that you cannot be lukewarm. No, so none of that. Really can't and i understand that again being saved looks different for everybody like gospel drill that was a thing there is a point where there are certain things you can't align with there were certain verses in the donda album where you know you've got some of these rappers like the baby and whatever who aren't traditionally religious that's fine you don't need to be but like they still were speaking on what they were speaking on exactly and it's like it doesn't make any sense but the song is called something like i love jesus like help me out here it doesn't make sense because make it make sense sense because if i was somebody that was saved and i tried to listen to that because you said that you are saved Mm. and that's the kind of music i can listen to i can't listen to that you're dragging people down i can't listen to that i can't i hear it so yeah yeah, i know that's a whole do you know what that's actually a whole i think that is a discussion i would like to have i would like to have a guest with somebody Obviously, we know um, Mills, shout out Mills, shout that Mills, does yeah. gospel hydration. I think it would be really good, and Rebla, shout out Rebla, shout out Rebla. Yeah. that is a gospel artist. We could do that. Um, I, I we, kind can, of, we could get both of them on. Let's get both of them on. I want to get into that. I kind of feel like, and kind of, TSB, shout out TSB. TSB mm, yeah. He is like, I think he's a perfect example because he's someone that obviously is a, a, a great producer yeah. that works in secular yeah. music. Yeah. But he himself is a very, like, he, he takes his walk yeah. very seriously. Mm. How do you navigate? You, yeah, how do you do that? I think we should do that. Let's do sold. It's sold. It's done. <laughs> I think. I think. Now yeah. let me let me let's write you, that. Let me, write it down. Now oh, let me ask you guys a question. With everything that he's been doing, so we've talking about. Damn, Chris he said it on mic. People can take this. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we need to get it done quickly. No, 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 no. We, don't, we don't need to get it done, people. <laughs> let me message the has me right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoever tries to copy it, copy. You're not DBTH. Yeah, anyway, period. So that's what, what, I wanted, what I wanted to ask you guys, so we've spoken about Christianity, we've spoken about him going into fashion, we've spoken about music, producing. Now, in relation to what you guys are saying about um, him being a Christian and such, mm. do you think Kanye has got to the point where he's too big, where he feels like he can just do whatever he wants? Before I answer that question, let us know in the comments if you think that that um, episode, we're going to do it anyway, but yeah. let us know what you think about it and, what you and how hear. you feel about it. Yeah, yeah. Or what you, you know, or any guests that you think would be good to have on. No, 100%. Back yeah. to the question. Um, Yeah. So what's that? What's that? Um, The God Complex. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say Icarus. Icarus. Yeah. 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 God Complex. Icarus is the one that flew to the sun in it. Bernie's ass. Too close to the sun. <laughs> Bernie's ass for real. Um, yeah. It melted the wings. <laughs> melted the wings and he fell and he busted his ass. It didn't burn. Bernie's ass. It didn't burn. The wings are part of him. Yeah, God's complex is a really big thing, man. It's a really yeah, terrible thing. Yeah. I can't lie. And yes, when with you start feeling G. with a small G, mm-hmm. guaranteed. Baby G. No other thing. Yes. Um when you do get into that stage, and yes, it's borderline narcissism, 
it's almost as if can, can I say that? You Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. It's almost <laughs> as if um, just gotta make sure. Um, like you, you feel like you're bulletproof, right? Mm. And you could do whatever you want, and people are gonna accept it. And for a long time, yeah, I was one of those people that did accept it. I was one of those people that always supported Kanye. I was like, look, Kanye's yes. the uncle at the cookout where it's like he's always getting invited. He doesn't, hate, do, he doesn't hate do, saying that. He doesn't yeah, do no yeah. wrong. saying that, but he doesn't do no wrong. He's always yeah, going to yeah, get invited yeah, yeah. no matter what. There's nothing he can do that's wrong. Yeah. But as of recently, recently I'm talking about a few years now, God, mm. God knows I've been trying to fight for this man. I've been <laughs> trying to, but brother man, brother man, you yourself, I don't think if you if you came out of your body, you had an out-of-body experience, you were ready to fight for yourself. <laughs> 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 that MAGA hat that he wore a few years ago, brother bro, man. Bro. What he was saying in what's that? What's that? Um, TMZ Studios, brother man. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> he's gone what through do you it. What us to do, yeah. man? Yeah, I think it's tough because it's you get to a point where you don't care, and that's fine. Mm. But there are a lot of things that he did, and a lot of parts of his personality that needed to be checked by somebody. Yeah, please. And if G no one's check checking him at the time. door, yeah, if no one's checking him, what we have is what, what we've we got. Have. Let me ask you guys yeah. a question. Yeah. Who in the industry, who in the industry could or who G in his life him? could G-check Kanye Jay-Z. West? Jay-Z. I don't no. think he can. Fair. I don't think Jay-Z think can pass that, man. And the thing is, yeah, and do you know what? Oh, you mean like right now, right now? Yeah. No one. Nobody can G-check him. The only person I feel like that can G-check him in his whole life was his mum. Oh, it's sad. It's sad because I don't know his circle. I actually Kim don't know Kim. Kim cannot, Kim cannot G check him. No, no, but the thing no is, one he, can. From the, from the sounds of it, he's got people like Don C, which are his long term. They friends. They can't G check like, him. No, no, but these are his long term friends. Like, when they you're looking, at, check him. but the thing is, you say that though. But in your own life, yeah, your long term friends, yeah, which the people which you would consider could yeah, G check yeah, you. Yeah. I would say, of course, if you're gonna put two and two together, I would say those would be the people. Do but know, I don't know anyone do, else. Do you know why I still don't think that? will work do you think they just push him up I think there's that and I think there's an element of like I am so far gone yeah you can't chat to me yeah, like, yeah. and I, so I was watching um, yeah I was watching the Aretha Franklin film mm. that I told you guys yeah, about respect yeah, yeah. Did we and watch there it? was I a point I haven't finished it no you should it's a very good film right. so um, yeah there was a there was a point where she got super successful this is after respect has blown she's clear international da da da, da. Mm. she had a drinking problem mm. and people were trying to tell her that she had a drinking problem and um, but a lot of those people were on her payroll oh, okay. so it's like th- there was a point where she was like why are you talking to me if I don't I sing now you. who's gonna pay. pay your bills like yeah. I pay your bills and then eventually um Anyway, I'm not going to spoil yeah. it. Watch the film. It's great. Yeah. But um, yeah, so so I feel like that's kind of what it is. Even though these people are around him, there is dogs. He is so far gone. I'm sure that, you know, it is that kind of element where it's like family, but mm. they might be on this payroll or something mm. like that. I just don't feel like... And the narcissism yeah. means that you won't even hear word anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is. I, I don't feel like anyone can G-check him. No, Nobody can. Done. Even right. even the people that you're talking about, yeah. um, like Don C, um, Virgil, all those type of people. Virgil. They c- no. Virgil cannot Virgil. G-check him for shit. No. The only, do you, even when Dave Chappelle was like, oh, I, I've spoken to him, this, this, and this, they only have empathy for him. Yeah. That's it. They can yeah. they can just relate. They not relate, but they can be like okay, like Send Kanye. Up, bless up, and that's yeah, it. that's yeah. it. I've tried and it's like I've tried and tried. And I can't. That's it. Mm. He he. I've, like you said, I feel like it, um, Jay Z has done really. Bam. Yeah, Jay- I think he's washed his hands. No, no. Do you know what? Him. I don't. I don't think. Jay- I think <laughs> there was probably a point in time when Jay Z tried. Mm. Yeah, but I don't think, think. Jay Z can anymore. Jay Z. No, I know that. They're, can't, I, I know they're both dogs, but I'm saying like I say that he's tried so much. Yeah, I can't even bother. Wash my hands. Yeah, you know when you're like, it's what it is. He's still my bro, though. Yeah, love, bro. <laughs> love He's bro. still made music, though. <laughs> okay, so cool. Final question. Is it safe to say that Kanye has declined in his career or do you think he's still the GOAT? The still guy the goat. is the motherfucking GOAT. He's, he's still, still the, the GOAT. goat. You can't take that away from him. I, I, he is the GOAT. He's done he's the so goat. much, man. Because I think this is what we were saying before about like, what is the measure of success? Mm. What is decline? What mm. is whatever? And he is, he is cleared yeah. the fashion scene he's done something in trainers it. that has not been done since Jordan by, me, by a black man yes forget black and even then even, even a white yeah, man that's true nobody man, has true. done what he it's has true. done since the Jordans came out in 85 that's true nobody has I mean, done it very true no what? one has ever looked Jordan in the eye this guy is very true is an artist a producer a style icon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Style icon to the sense that this is obviously more related to me. When, look, Whenever I wasn't, I was, something, yeah, yeah, this. I wasn't really looking at the Kanye there. crash until I saw it on Kanye's wrist. Mm-hmm. And when I saw it on Kanye's wrist, I've been on that like a bone. And you know, 
a dog with a bone. That's, That's the thing. One thing about Kanye as well is that even if he's not in the limelight, he's your favorite's favorite. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And that's enough. Yeah, yeah 100%. So um, another thing I was going to say as well, yeah, is even outside of like music, even if he's not necessarily making amazing music, you see Little Nas X, the industry baby song, yeah? yeah. Which I absolutely adore. Mm. That was produced by Kanye. Of course. Kanye it? is not sleeping. I have to that question Kanye. Working, bro. Sorry, he did what? He produced industry baby. And that song slaps, by the way. Is that, that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that the one that you had a problem with? No, that's... no, no. That's the one where they're in jail. Yeah. That's the one that just came out. Oh, okay. I yeah. told you now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You now. With Jack Harlow. Yeah. That song is a banger. It's a banger. It's a banger. Yeah. That and song... it's produced by Kanye no, West. He's not sleeping. So even when he's like fucking around and doing all this stuff, he'll just quickly pass off a number one hit. Disappear somewhere, yeah. and you know that's royalties. Like Michael You're going Myers, buy a fifty million dollar house. Period, man. In 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 Wyoming. I, I, I was about to say where, um, where, 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 where that Wyoming, was. mate. But yeah. yeah, man, he's still the goat. No matter what happens, and I think again, it's people like Kanye West and it's albums like um, Certified Lover Boy that makes me question what is success. Mm. What does success look like? But, what does know. it look like? Do, do you know, know? Do you know what? Yeah, and you guys like correct me if I'm wrong here. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. Some of the biggest people in in this world, yeah, or the most successful, or the most like like huge mm. people in this world, mm. fam, like they've gone through it. Yeah. I feel like they've gone through it. Remember when we were talking about Van Gogh? Mm -hmm. We were talking about Van, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Okay, Van Gogh. Is Van, it Van Gogh though? It's Van Gogh. Anyway, I don't think so. so me and Toby, me and Toby, me and Toby was talking about me and Toby was talking about Van Gogh, Van Gogh, yeah? yeah. And we were talking about what this guy actually went through. Mm -mm -mm. Um, obviously we we were in the museum and we, yeah, we yeah, went yeah. through the whole thing. But Toby was giving me more in depth. Um, Did you guys go to the museum? Background. In yeah, yeah, in Amsterdam, oh, yeah. yeah. And fam, like this guy went through it, yeah. and no one actually saw his art until after he died yeah. and now look at his art like I'm just, I'm just seeing a reoccurring theme here which I'm not really happy about because mm -hmm. do I need to go mm -hmm. down do this I, realm <laughs> do I need to do I need so to hit the like multiverse yeah, where yeah, my yeah, mind has yeah, just yeah, gone yeah, in different yeah, pieces yeah, yeah. God yeah. forbid yeah, but yeah, I want to yeah. be successful because no, I think about people like Mary J Blige yeah? and Mary J Blige had to be dragged through the trenches by yeah. God himself in order to come up with the music that she's come out with you people see, like Adele depression I'm, is suffering. Like, what do you he like? You will suffer. Will you suffer. will Big suffer. Time. So I, that's why I'm a bit scared Listen. about what the success really look like. I don't know. I don't know. Listen. I don't know. I mean, I 50 know. Cent said, Joy wouldn't feel so good if it <laughs> weren't for pint. This <laughs> guy <laughs> got shot like 10 it. times. Nine. Nine, nine times. Nine. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Might, yeah. Might, yeah, nine. Well, nine times. Might, nine. As well, might as well call it 10. I like it even. <laughs> he got sorry. shot nine times, yeah? yeah. And now look at him. This is it, was the the ninth, just, it was the ninth shot that made his music. Brother, trials, trials, yeah. They Sometimes they really have to try out. Yeah, Do boy. you know what I mean? Yeah. But so it go. Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Yeah, man. Really, really, really interesting talk. Yeah. We need to get that gospel episode lined yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Did you write it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Basically. make sure you get that done. Get briefly. that done. Yeah, quickly. I'm going to brief the quick, guys. Quick, 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 Everybody quick. start contacting your contacts. Yeah, All right, guys. That brings us to today's episode. Thank you so much, as always, Thank for tuning in. Big, big love every single time. All the time. Now, you can follow us on the gram at DBTH yep. Podcast. You should have followed us already because I did yeah. say at the beginning of the episode. Yep. Okay, please. Follow us on Instagram at DBTH Podcast. You can mm. follow us on Twitter at DBTH underscore podcast yep. you can subscribe to youtube if you're here right now i didn't say it would do you well to come on down no. to youtube town i hope you're already here no. oh we're be. already at the end god <laughs> now <laughs> that means okay. they were here <laughs> <laughs> subscribe on youtube at dbth podcast and you can find us on spotify soundcloud apple music yep. also or apple podcast by searching dbth podcast that is one word or two words whatever you like we're good either way mm. guys that brings us to the end we will see you next week mm. any other business this is episode 81. We are DBTH and we are out. Peace. Peace.